from the University of Michigan and our organization is Michigan Health Engineered for All Lives. So we work on designing medical equipment for communities such as uh, Nicaragua, Guatemala, Ethiopia that doesn't lot, have a lot of resources. I represent uh, Peter the Great in Petersburg Polytechnic University in Russia. Here on my stand I have a lot of different things we created in our Fab Lab. Uh, one of those is a replica of a recent Star Wars movie, DB-8. I'm Stefano Mince from uh, EPFL in uh, Switzerland. And uh, what you can see here is a very small wearable camera. So in fact it's a small quadcopter that can be uh, fold it so it becomes very compact and easy to be carried on the field and as soon as it's needed uh, you can just shake it and it's uh, ready to, to fly. Uh, this is a bioelectric prosthetic hands which is works from my muscle tense, when I uh, press this muscle, hand is closing. Uh, when I press this muscle, hand is open. I can uh, do different grips. Uh, hand can do 14 different grips. I can uh, switch between them by pressing this button. My name is uh, Associate Professor Krishnan Kanurpati. I am from Charles Darwin University in uh, Darwin, from Australia. I am from the School of Engineering and Information Technology. What I've got here is a 3D printed part of a model of a working engine. Uh, it doesn't have a motor or anything like that. You can see that these are relays that are switched on and off by this crankshaft. Um, and these, these switches are here that controls these relays. Hi, I'm Harshal Shah. Uh, I'm with uh, FTNDES, that's a NeuroSky distributor for India. And we are also distributors for Puzzle Box. Uh, NeuroSky is an open source EEG headset which reads my brain waves from the frontal lobe. Uh, and uh, it converts into readable material. So when my focus level goes beyond this threshold, it will start flying. I'm Cedric uh, from Cumesis, Belgium. So we are an engineering company and we are building smart things. So we are building robots, we are uh, building smart devices and IoT devices. So here we have a few examples. So here you see a robot which is, uh, its purpose is to clean uh, solar panels, large areas of solar panels. So you see it's connected to water, uh, it pushes water on the solar panel and the brushes turns to, to, to clean it. So it's remote control so that it's safe for the operator. <laughs> 